again so welcome back to another VR video today we are back in Project TX and we are going to be looking at a new little uh, well not new but the proper version of my new leg system uh, yeah I just said new again but there we go <laughs> right um, I wanted to look at the uh, leg system today um, it's it's the new sort of advanced uh, blah, blah, fully adaptive procedural legs yeah what I want you to see throughout this video is that there are no animations at all on anything on the body system. Like literally nothing. The fingers aren't animated, the, the feet are completely procedural, you can see them crossing over. I'm going to try and fix that soon. But right now everything is 100% procedural, it's all just maths and uh, sort of uh, other systems going on here, there and everywhere. Logic stuff. Right. Uh, but other than that, I did want to talk a little bit about some of the things that the things that were mentioned on the comments in the last video as well. Um, first off, a few people mentioned this. A few people <laughs> a little bit critical, but that's expected. Um, some people did say uh, this is nothing new. This uh, this is nothing new. In that case, uh, yes, you are correct. This is definitely nothing new. Here's a video from about four years ago, where uh, which was the start of this project, Project TX. I put that on my channel. Uh, you can have a look at each of these videos on the channel. Uh, a video from probably a year before that, which is uh, active ragdoll physics in VR. So before Project TX, but it was again full full ragdoll physics based character control, and uh, and a video before that as well, which is when I first did physics in VR. This is like before. Before I even had controllers, like I did, I was using a DK2 at this time. Um, this is the PS2, PS2 controller I'm using in hand, and a Leap Motion controller to move my hands for hand tracking. Yeah, so I've been doing this for quite a while. <laughs> Those videos I'll uh, I'll put in the links in in the description as well. I'll put the links, and uh, yeah, they're they're quite old videos. But this stuff, it took me a long while to actually get it stable. So yes, you are correct. It's not new. I've been doing it for years. <laughs> I know you didn't mean that, but I'm going to take it as that. But there we go. Um, so yeah, other than that, a lot of people don't fully understand the, the physics concepts here. Uh, so I'm going to switch, no, not the view mirror. I'm going to switch over to my camera view. So you should be able to see from my camera view. I don't know if you can see the actual, oh, you can see the actual things. Right, okay. So I have this thing called the debug for the, for the scale body. And what you can see here is the actual, in fact, I'm going to switch the controllers on is the actual tracking points, right? If I if I hold this box properly, you can see here's the actual calculated tracking uh, tracking points that my system is targeting, right? And uh, as you can see, it actually tries to match that. And you can see the weight of this object is weighing down on my hand, so I can't actually hold it as as it as I want it, right? But if you look carefully, you'll see that you can never really see those lines, right? No matter how fast I move my hand, unless of course my controller tracking just completely dies. Uh, but you know, you can see here that it's full physics, but it's completely tracking like really, really fast. So it doesn't. Oh, I'm just gonna break these controllers at one point. Uh, I'm not used to using these uh, with the ring above them, as you can see in the in the game. You can see that I use the controllers from the Oculus CV1, which actually they're on the table there. But there we go. Yeah. So you can actually see the speed of the tracking. Now the way this works is that it doesn't slow things down when you've got a heavy object on you. You see, if I track perfectly with my hands here, you can see that they swing at the speed that I'm actually moving my hand. But that's only because my hand is able to actually accelerate at that rate in the game, right? If I start accelerating much faster, you'll see that it, it, it cannot keep up, right? So there we go, it completely swings out of place. So I highly recommend you try this in any little uh, world that you've got here, in, in any VR project you've got, where you just hold your hand one side and then swing it, accelerate it and then stop, right? Accelerate it 90 degrees and stop and see what happens to the object. Very often you'll see that it just does this, which is just, un it's just not what I think would happen. I'm pretty sure the entire arm will try and catch the weight of this object, right? And that's because all the strength is in these muscles, right? So if I drop this here and walk over there, whoop, you can see here that I'm on a ladder, 
Oh, in fact, I'll not use a ladder. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Woo! Yeah. We'll use this pole. So here we go. Very easily, I can just climb like so, right? One hand, easy, I can lift my hand. Really, really easy. But if I simply put my hand out, right? And you can see me putting my hand out. You can see I can't actually lift it, right? I'll show you that from the camera, uh, come, come, blah, 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 blah. from the camera view. Uh, there we go, right? So again, uh, we'll zoom you in. So here we go, nice and easy. If I put my hand in, I can lift my hand really, really easy. I can lift my body quite easily, but with my hand out, no, right? And that's it's it's all in the muscles here. So it depends on how you actually control your body that will determine whether it's nice and easy to climb or whether you can't actually climb at all, right? And that's just how it is. But this whole time, of course, you should be looking at how the legs move because that's where things get really, really cool. So let's look at the leg system now, right? And what's actually going on here, right? I want to talk about this a little bit because I think it's, it's kind of missed out on almost every procedural leg system that exists. The way people think of legs is that they're sort of a timer where half the timer, one foot is up and the other half, the other foot is up, right? So you think, okay, you've got, uh, you've got step and then as it touches the ground, the other foot lifts up, right? Boom, and boom, and boom, and it switches foot, right? But that's just not how it works in reality. Um, well, it is, but only when you're moving really, really slow. It's like if you're if you're moving like this, fair enough. But once you start walking at a natural pace or you start running, then things start changing, right? Suddenly, my feet aren't always on the ground. There isn't always one foot on the ground. Uh, so it's not it's not really this and then switch. It's more you start switching about here, right? Your foot is halfway off the ground. Obviously, you can't see this in the game, but just have a look at the camera and you start to switch to your other foot before it lands. So at that point, you have both feet in the air. And that's actually what's happening here, which is why it doesn't look like my, my stepping rate is just increasing, right? I'm not looking like... That's not what we want to do. We want to actually change the speed of the feet. Um, not necessarily the speed because humans are lazy as with any other animal and the nature of that is that you want to try and move with the least effort possible which means you're not going to increase your stepping rate you're just going to you know you're going to smoothly transition to uh to to lifting your feet at the same time so that you can actually launch forward bouncy 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 right and that's what you end up with you can see it works really really nicely even when i start crouching Things look all right. And it gets even nicer, of course, because it can handle, right, actually being on other ground as well. So let me switch off the controllers here. I'll switch off the debug body as well. So now it, you can just see the real stuff. And here we go. We're on moving ground and I've been thrown off. There we go. And you can see on moving ground, <laughs> it looks pretty cool. And of course, I can follow it and get thrown off. There you go. Really, really nice, right? So this is the new leg system. It looks really, really good. And the the, uh, the annoying thing is, um, I wrote this system and then I wanted to adapt it for swimming. And uh, working on swimming resulted in me realizing there were some problems with the uh, adaptation from legs to the hip. So there was some trouble with the hip and there was trouble with the rest of the body, there was trouble with the shoulders, there was trouble with the hands. Everything got out of place and offset and all of this stuff. And I basically rewrote all of the systems, right? Hence, it took three weeks to write a foot, foot movement system, procedural legs, because uh, <laughs> pretty much everything broke. Everything broke. So I've rewritten everything, right? Uh, there we go. I've rewritten the entire system, which is it's actually much much nicer now you can actually see as i t-pose it should be t-posing in game right which is that's just really really nice right it should actually be reaching the limits of my arm as my arm is actually hitting the limits and then the same thing going forward right so same thing pretty much hitting the limits of my arms 
and then even going up, right? It should be hitting the limits of my arms just there. It should just hit the limits of my arms in all directions, which is very, very difficult to do because in reality, it's not, it's not just an arm length, right? As you lift your arm, the shoulder moves up and down, it lifts. And so you have to figure out all the mechanical structures there and get them as accurate as possible in order for the limit of your arm to be, to be accurate. And with a system like this, you need to get those limits accurate. Otherwise, you know, you can't move the hand properly because remember the muscles impact how things move. But the end result, of course, is that we have swimming. Whee! And it looks way nicer than it was before, right? So I've got, I've got actual kicking here. I can just kind of stay in place and you can see nothing happens. But as I kick, as I move, you can see the character tries to kick. And then of course, if I use the crouch a little bit, you can actually start seeing that movement look really, really nice, right? This is beautiful. And then of course, you can see how it transitions out of the water as well. When I simply lift up here, grab this, and there we go. Very, very beautiful, right? It's, <laughs> it's all about getting that system really, really smooth really transitioning everything properly. And that matters because remember, everything is physics, right? Everything. The whole arm structure is connected to the shoulders, connected to the real body, and it's all colliding, right? It's all absolutely colliding. So if you pop over to here, you'll be able to, and I hope that I haven't got any of this colliding with the camera. So the camera should be able to swing right through. There you go which means now I can actually just kind of do this. Uh, you might need to zoom in though. Otherwise, I'll just place you there. Oh, you're, you're kind of inside it, but that's okay because you'll lift up a little bit here. And what's going to happen here is you're going to see me try and crawl and you'll see how the legs kind of adapt and the whole body fits into such a tiny gap, right? So here we go. We've got a tiny little gap. Here's what it looks like from my view, right? This is a hand. Look at the size of this gap. Tiny, tiny little gap, and we're gonna crawl through it, right? So here we go. Firstly, I'm gonna lower my body, and you'll see that the hip kicks out quite a bit, and I don't really want that. It's a bit too much. We're gonna, we'll move you over to there, right? And maybe you can see me, maybe you can't. Zoom you out, there we go. You might be able to just about see me, and you'll see I'm crawling through, and now coming out the other side, <laughs> Uh, coming out the other side and you can see how the flexible hip really works quite nicely. <laughs> it's such beautiful. It's absolutely wild. It's crazy. But of course, that can only be done when you've got no fakery going on, right? So there's no physics capsule or anything like that. There's no character controller object. That is tea time. I'll be going in a little bit, but that's okay. We've got a little bit more to see. You know, there's none of that fakery going on. It's just all a ragdoll and the actual collisions happen on the character body, right? Which is why here, and then I can actually lean over things. As people mentioned in the, in the last video as well, comments in, in the last video, I can lean over things only because the collision is at the actual hip of the body, right? It's the actual hip, the actual spine, the actual chest. Everything you see is colliding legitimately, right? it's colliding legitimately as you expect, which is why that thing behind me there, right? It's just, it's just a, a, a sphere, it's just a ball, right? But it's a very, very heavy ball. So here, if I try and pick it up, you can see in the real world that I'm, I'm lifting it quite high, right? If I put the controllers on, oh, there we go. You can see I'm trying to lift it and I just can't get it off the ground. You can see my whole body has lowered. It's too heavy for me to lift. So of course, I can connect a rope to me, to, to me, I can connect a rope from it to my foot. And now you can see how it actually pulls the foot along. <laughs> it's beautiful, right? It's absolutely beautiful. And here's me trying to climb now, whoop, trying to climb with that hanging off my foot. You can see here, no matter what I do, 
I just can't clamber up. Right, so there we go. I try and climb. We'll move the camera over to there. I try and climb. I can lower my body. I'm trying to crawl now. It looks a little awkward because obviously my, my hip is nice and strong. It can actually kick out quite a bit, but the feet just can't lift, right? So there we go. And you can see me trying to move. Here we go. I'm running. I'm running. Nothing is I'm not moving. I, I'm going to work a little bit on the idea of the foot of when, when there's one foot able to actually ground itself here. But there you go. You can see I just can't move properly. And things get really, really crazy when... Let's just try and drag this along. Ugh. You know what? Just come with me. Things get really crazy when I drop into water with one of these here, right? So there we go. Now you drop this into water and... <laughs> oh dear. And now, now I'm screwed, right? Because now I'm going to have to try and clamber out. And of course, I can't, right? So there we go. What's going to happen now? <laughs> this, remember, this is hanging on the ragdoll leg, right? Which is hanging off my body and it's completely stopping me from climbing over to here, right? So of course, once I drop into water, now I'm going to try and swim off and I'm trying to swim up, right? I'm actually pushing my right analog stick up as well to get my up my upward kick. And you can see I'm not able to actually float back up. Now, of course, because we're in water, I'm able to kind of lift it, right? It's, it's very heavy, but I'm able to lift it. And there we go. So the only solution now, because I'm, I'm going to drown now. I'm, I'm literally, I'm there. I'm stuck. This is what happens when you mess with Captain Jack Sparrow um, uh, or, or the other way around. Uh, whatever beard, this beard, the, the pirate, they will attach you to something heavy and drop you into the water and say goodbye. So, of course, there's a solution, and you can see it right there in the background. We're going to have to pick... Oh, there we go. Pick this up. <laughs> I feel like a real drowned pirate right now. And there we go. We've got a really powerful fan, which does not look anything like a fan because I'm very lazy and I'm not doing the graphics yet. And we just have to get over here and let it launch. Woohoo! <laughs> it's beautiful. Right, come on, move along, move along. Just, <laughs> God, it's so heavy. Right, there we go. Just, just keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. Just pull the ball along so that I can get over here and we can detach it. Wonderful absolutely beautiful but it gets even more awesome than that because of course right of course this whole leg system is not just designed for me and my height now i'm an eggy boy right and you can see here that it still looks really really good right it's still right so i'm an eggy boy but you can see now it just looks legit right it looks really cool i'm still hopping over these objects i still have the ability to grab things and it just works it just works it's really really cool <laughs> and then of course we can attach it here so there we go now it's attached to this guy's foot and you can see because he's heavier and he has the ability to move a little bit more right he can actually pull it along quite easily right there we go. Beautiful. But of course, this system doesn't just work perfectly with any character model that is very humanoid. Things get really cool when we take it that side. You'll notice that I've actually increased my performance a little bit. I've got rid of all the models just showing up. I haven't done any performance work or optimizations yet. So uh, everything is just uh, is just perfectly fine. It's, it's, it's as it is, it's all very debuggy. It's all very bad for the frame rate. The T-Rex. Things might have wobbled a little bit there, but it's okay, that's fine. And you'll notice that this time, unlike before, I can actually move around like a T-Rex. And you can see my arms still, whoop -a -de -whoop -a -de -whoop. right? So there we go. Look, hello, it's me, the dinosaur. <laughs> and you can see here that as I run, the legs look look about right, right? It looks it looks cooler. Oh, I don't want to drop in the water there. And you can see this is really cool, right? So I'm standing completely over the water. It's great. Look at where my controllers are, right? It's just crazy. This is it's it's bonkers. 
Now, of course, when I look down, you'll notice that the feet do float a little bit. Maybe there's a little bit of work to do. That's because this is a, an unexpected character, right? It's just not how things would be in reality. And of course, it gets a little bit wibble wobbly when I jump because I've done no fixes or anything like that. Woo! And then switch. Ah, ooh. Things get a little bit crazy, right? A little bit weird, a little bit awkward. Someone asked, which I I think is, is kind of self-explanatory, but someone did ask, um, can you pick up a ladder and then just, you know, place it down and climb it, right? And of course, of course, that's the case, right? So here we go, we've got a ladder. <laughs> Sorry, camera is a little jumpy there, um, but there we go. Can I pick up a ladder and just, while holding it in physics, right, just plonk, plonk it down. You know, here it is, held in hand, and here it is, me climbing, right? So of course, yes, you can, you can grab a ladder, you can climb it, and then you grab over here. And of course, I can show you a little bit of zip lining technically, but uh, right now, we can just, wee. And there we go, right? So, that way is easier. And of course, we've got some physics stuff here. Woo! Now I haven't done all of the leggy leggy stuff for when you're swinging around. So I could make this nicer, but for now, it just kind of looks a little bit straight, a little bit kind of vertical, but that's fine. Oh no! <laughs> I missed, and my arm is going a little crazy, I know. Uh, there's a few fixes that are needed. Whee! A few fixes that are needed for the arms there. But of course, beyond that, it just works really nicely, right? It's, it's all very nice. And of course, all of this is perfectly fine. As is traditional uh, with the Nimso project at this point, I'm going to have to do this just because, you know, it's, it's necessary at this point. All of this works perfectly fine in any form of adaptive system. Oh, let me just get uh, get me centralized. Is this a good place? I'm not gonna hit the blooming curtains this time. There we go. Right, and then a hop and a walk, right? So there we go, all of this perfectly acceptable here. You can grab whatever you want. Yeah. And of course, as I'm running, it all looks really nice, right? So there we go. All perfectly fine. Whee! And now I can swim. And of course, it also uses the the, the feet kick based on my movement direction. Same as uh, same as before. Right, so you can see here. I can see my body here kicking. And if I don't want to kick, I just I just don't do that. Right. So there we go. I can kick as I want to. And if I just swim down a little bit to that side. I know where I am, don't worry, don't worry, I won't crash into the wall, and up we go, all fine, no problems, right? So it's just all, it's all beautifully fine, it's all, it all just adapts properly. And that's something I wanted to talk about, actually. So, um, let's, let me try and move to this side, try and get the camera over to here, there we go. Full body tracking, so another person asked about that. Um, what is the point of doing all of this derived stuff? Why don't we just use full body tracking? You know, we just need new hardware. That'll work fine, right? Okay, so a lot of people thinking that that's the case, you know. And I wanted to talk a little bit about that very quickly. Let me, let me just show you something very much immediately. You'll, you'll already know why full body tracking doesn't actually fix this problem. Here's me standing. I look the same, look in the top, ooh, in the top right corner of the screen here, you'll see my camera, you'll see the real me, the real me. And uh, you'll see that things are going, things are going as planned. You know what? Yep, all is well. Right, so there we go. Yeah. And you can see me standing in reality, right? Here's me in game, not, uh, uh, pretty much matching the real world. Here's me in game now, not standing. Note the hip. The hip is not exactly where it was. So watch, let me show you again. Whoop. Here's my hand. I'm gonna put it on my hip here. So this is where my hip is in game, yeah? Okay, now I'm gonna leave it there. Whoop. 
Note that it's moved out of place. In fact, it's gonna get even worse when I do this. So now, completely it moves out of place, right? What that means is, the hip, even if I had full body tracking, is not going to match what my real world tracking says um, when we are... It's not gonna match what my real world tracking says when I'm crouching or when I'm crawling, right? So there you go, right? That's, that alone is, is, is not just, you know, it's not just crouching and crawling, it's anything. Obviously, when I'm swimming, the whole body is moving in a different way. The legs are moving in a different way. So what that means is, in reality, in practice, no, no part of your body, nothing in terms of tracking is ever actually matching perfectly to the tracking that you're seeing in game, except for the camera at the, at the headset position. The camera from your viewpoint is always at your viewpoint, right? So the tracking of the camera is always 100% exactly perfect. But as a result, anything else that offsets from that, like my hands right now, right? Here's the controllers and now offset, right? Anything that offsets from that is going to be different between your tracking and what you're seeing in game. Because the headset is the only thing that's perfect. And that applies to everything, not just the controllers, not just the hip, everything. Just having feet and full, full, full body tracking, full feet tracking and all of that won't help you when it comes to tilting and stuff in water, moving your feet like this. My real feet aren't doing all of this walking, right? Otherwise, it, it would look a little different. You have to use the tracking, not just as, you know, as the final position, final po poses and everything, you have to use the tracking as a guide system, which is exactly what we're doing with physics, right? So here we go. We have, uh, oh, that's not a good idea. We have this uh, here, and you can see my controllers are in front of me. My controllers are in front of me here together, but the hand can't reach that. It's being used as a target, as a guide, but it's not the actual result. The actual result is this arm is being pulled back by this thing here, which of course, I can then pull myself towards. So you can't just do that. You can't just um, you can't just use your tracking directly. Which means even when you've got perfect full body tracking, you still need a fully derived system. Which is exactly why, even if it's available, I'm only going to build first with the very most basic tracking. In fact, it's so basic that it works even without controllers, right? So even without controllers, I have all of the tracking systems and all of the derived stuff working fine, including the elbows and the el and the wrists and everything, right? So this is this is the point I'm trying to make is that you can't just you can't just use your direct tracking, you have to have a fully derived body and that way when you're crouching, your shoulders are going to be correct because they're going to tilt in accordance with the chest. And you can see this here if I switch to my camera view here you can see the controllers and as I go into a crawl you can see even though they kind of match here even though they match here they don't match there because it's gone past the limit and that's because my shoulder that's because my shoulder changes as I crouch into a crawl because now the shoulder has rotated since the whole chest has rotated you can't just use the tracking directly you have to derive stuff you have to derive stuff it's just the only way to do things. Here's something really cool. Even with a very, very fast character, I can still adapt the foot stepping and everything. And here we go, we've got Sonic. <laughs> and of course, it just, it just works like an actual platformer now. And that's the beauty of... Oh no! <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. So now you can see Sonic is, uh, is swimming. Woo. We'll go, there we go. Oh, that's a bit too close. Right, we'll just, we'll have to Sonic swim over here. I know Sonic can't swim. That's absolutely something I could, I could uh, implement if, if I wanted to. But, uh, but there we go, right? So it's just, <laughs> it's just, I've been messing around with this, woo, quite a lot, right? It's, it's absolutely beautiful. There we go. The menu button on this controller is much difficult, much more difficult to actually press than the than the oculus cv1 but there we go um camera over to that side so yeah 
um, that's the new leg system. It adapts to absolutely everything. And the idea here, once I get some full body tracking, things are gonna get even more curious and crazy because you're going to be quite amazed at just how much the full body tracking needs to hybridize, blend into the real, the, the in-game virtual world, right? The, the actual guiding systems come from the tracking, not the final pauses. But there we go. It's absolutely beautiful. And um, yeah, thanks very much for watching. I will uh, see you in the next video. I want to talk quite a bit about the next video, actually. Um, well, not talk about it, but uh, yeah. In the next video, I am going to get back onto interactions. So a few people asked about guns and stuff and, and pauses and grabs and they're like, okay, well, this is not what I want for guns and stuff like that, where I grabbed it in one direction and people don't really want, ooh, ooh, right? People don't want me to, for example, get this out of here. To be able to grab a gun like this, the, um, the wrong way, so grabbing it like this shouldn't just flip the gun around. You have to understand, I wasn't really showing how the grab points on those objects were in, in practice, right? I'm trying to just show the very basic systems themselves, and then in the next video, I'm going to actually upgrade those interactions, and you'll be able to see how crazy it can get, right? So next video, I'm looking at interactions. I'm gonna have my holster points back, I'm going to have my uh, my uh, hover grab back. If you haven't seen any of those things, look in my previous videos. This project is called Project TX, or at least up until now it has been. I am planning on giving it a slightly different name for the final game, and maybe even a slightly different name in the tech demo just for fun. Uh, but there we go. Thanks very much for watching. Look forward to the interaction system next, because it's going to show you some cool things as well. Again, that's the, that's the new leg system. It looks great. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.